welcome to the project demonstration of iot based smart healthcare medical box system so in this project we have the two main features one is health parameters monitoring the health parameters are like heartbeat temperature and spo2 so these three parameters continuously monitoring on the cloud through uh, like blink application with the help of esp8266 module and another feature is initially when we switch on the kit it will ask for the time so we need to enter the time and then after so in real time it's going to be the uh, session based reminder for medi medicines and in this project we make a two minutes as a session so for every two minutes the system will give the buzzer alert to the person to take his medicines and visual alert on the lcd screen and also it will inform to the uh, through the cloud to the blink application about the notification as a notification alert like uh, alert for medicine reminder so in this manner we are going to sending the and also we are going to send the like uh, uh, abnormal health parameters alerts like if the temperature is above 100 degree fahrenheit or else heartbeat is above 100 beats per minute and uh, if the spo2 is below 90 so these three alerts also will be sent to the blink application along with medicine reminder so these are the main features so coming to the sensors to read the heartbeat and uh, uh, pulse oximeter data we are making use of max 30100 and for the temperature lm35 and uh, for uh, entering the time we are making use of 4 by 3 keypad key, uh, keypad and audible alert through the buzzer so on this board so we have interfaced the max sensor at a4 a5 pins as we need to interface that there only why because a4 a5 are the i square c pins and our max 30100 will provide the i square c data so that's why we need to interface to the dedicated i square c pins a4 a5 and temperature sensor interfaced at a0 pin and lcd interfaced at a1 and uh, pin number 2 to pin number 7 and the keypad interface at pin number 8 to pin number 13 and wi-fi module interfaced at the 0 and 1 and buzzer at a uh, third pin so these are the interfacing connections for the input and output modules so on this the buzzer board consists of a transistor so when the microcontroller Arduino you know want to switch on the buzzer so it will switch on the transistor bc547 so the transistor will switch on the buzzer and this is the breadboard so in order to distribute the 5 volts power supply throughout the input and output modules we are going to making use of this as a breadboard directly so let us see the demonstration before switching on these kits we need to do some initial steps so install the blink legacy application from play store and then go to hotspot settings of your phone and change the hotspot name to project 4976 without any space without any capital letter and the password should be 129 so after uh, changes was done and one more the important thing is ap band should be 2.4 gigahertz so these three are the main changes and after that on the hotspots on the data and next log into the blink application so there we can see one red icon it's showing the device is offline so when we switch on the kit then automatically it will be connected to the Wi-Fi network and then this will go off right so now yeah right there is no red mark here now so now the system will ask for enter hours so let us take now it's going to be the 21 and uh, 34 right after entering that then you can see the SPO2 heartbeat sensor got switched on and the live temperature continuously monitoring on the blink application so just place the finger on the both sensors so then let the uh, heartbeat max sensor stabilize once it stabilized successfully there you will get the exact heartbeats and spo2 values and the system is keep on running after two minutes you will get the medicine reminder alerts on the lcd and buzzer so meanwhile let me uh, increase the temperature so you can see the temperature is increasing when it is cross 100 degree foreign heats then you will get the alerts like I heart uh, I temperature message notifications will be sent to the blink application so those notifications will be sent to you when the phone is not open the app also like so directly will get the offline also these notifications so let's wait till the one more minute to be completed 
and uh, in that time we will get the medicine reminder on the LCD screen as well as on our blink application. So if you place a finger then you will get the exact parameters. So this reminder about the sorry, so as we get the high heart rate alerts. So the reminders continuously till you switch off the cage. For every session, the system keep on reminding about the medicines. That medicine reminder is for maximum of five seconds. We coded in that manner, right? Please take medicine will be alerted on the LCD screen along with buzzer. So once we will get the completed then you will get the one more message alerts in your app notification about the medicine reminder. Like this. So this system is continuously sending the notifications to the application as well as to buzzer for every two minutes.